Hey folks, so I'm going to talk a little bit about how we know that neurons do what they do, right? How do we record neurons? What does recording neurons even mean? Um, so we talked a little bit a while ago about what an action potential was. It's how neurons uh, do their job, all right? It's the thing that they say. Um, they fire an action potential. Um, and the way we know about this is because neurons change their voltage. And so voltage, it's like a battery, uh, you know, electricity. How do you measure electricity? You measure it with electrodes. And there's a couple, there's one way to categorize uh, the way we can record neurons is via, is uh, uh, talking about either intracellular recordings or extracellular recordings. And these give you different types of information, right? So intracellular recordings, uh, the, the old school way to do these was take a very thin, sharp pipette and actually puncture into the neuronal membrane. So you're recording the voltage that's inside the neuron. Um, after uh, we started developing this technique, now most people do something called whole cell recordings. It's a form of intracellular recording, but it's a little more stable than just puncturing the membrane, where you have an electrode uh, with a, a wider bore tip. You attach it to the surface of the neuron uh, and then apply a little bit of suction and actually rupture a small circle in the membrane so there's now a continuous flow of the intracellular milieu with your recording pipette. And why this is advantageous is that in addition to knowing whether a neuron is firing its action potential, if you're measuring the actual voltage within each neuron, you can also tell um, what the neuron is being told. You're, you're listening to what it's listening. By that I mean other neurons are going to be synapsing on that neuron and when they fire an action potential, they'll release their neurotransmitter, binds to the receptors on a neural membrane, which will let charge in or out of the cell. Uh, and you'll detect that. And so not all of these uh, synaptic action potentials from other neurons actually cause the first neuron to have an action potential, you'll see these little bumps in voltage that don't quite meet the threshold for triggering an action potential. And then you'll see when they actually do reach that critical voltage, it then fires. So you can get a lot of information about what the neuron is being told. So you can get very detailed information uh, about what a single cell is doing and what other cells are telling that neuron to do, right? That's the advantage of intracellular recordings. Now, extracellular recordings is exactly what it sounds like. Your electrode is not inside the cell, but it's very close to the neuron. And you can't see what the neurons are being told. You can't t uh, see sub-threshold uh, excitatory potentials. Um, but you can see when the neurons you're recording from fire. Uh, moreover, you can also see when multiple neurons in the same area around your electrode are firing. So you can, in, as opposed to intracellular recordings where you can only look at one neuron, extracellular recordings, you can actually look at a lot of neurons at the same time. Uh, and you can do this with one electrode or you can use microelectrode arrays, which have many different electrodes, uh, and you can put things like a brain slice on to this recording array, where then you can see from each of the electrodes that you're recording from what's going on in that area. So you can get a lot of uh, even spatial information on uh, how these neurons are firing. So it's two separate techniques, intracellular and extracellular, that give you different types of information uh, and they're, you know, you use them for different types of experiments depending on what type of information you want to get. 
Um, and I, you know, when I first heard about these, I just thought that recording from single neurons was the coolest thing in the world. And that's really what uh, was some of my first steps into neuroscience. I was like, I have to try this. And in med school, my big project was working on intracellular recordings. And now uh, I'm asking different questions and I do a lot of uh, microelectrode array recordings. So hope you learned something.